Welcome to Marine Tech Hub. Uh, today I would like to explain about maneuvering diagram, uh, especially for main engine, man BMW. So most of the time, what man BMW will give a diagram, uh, which will be similar to this. But very important is how to identify each component where they are placed in the engine. So very important. So what I have done is I have uh, made the maneuvering diagram in such a way that if you click on these numbers, you will be able to go to exactly where the components are and when you click on the speaker icon, you will be able to hear what the components are meant for. So in this diagram, I will explain a little bit uh, more so that you will understand what it is. This, if you see this box, this is for the emergency maneuvering uh, box where all the components are there, yellow color. So you have this. Then we have 127 is for the this component, this for the emergency stop. Then we have the components here for the starting air. You have here. Then we have other components here. 86, 88, 90, all these components I will be explaining in detail one by one. For the time being, I will just show you how it is. Suppose you want to see 102 where the components are there. So you have to just click here. When you click here, it will go to that particular block here. I opened the cover. Uh, this is the emergency platform. I opened the cover and I have marked this is the component. 102 and uh, 102 is nothing but a two position three way wall so the function of this wall is to lead pilot signal from wall 25 and supply air to wall 105 when it is activated so what I am trying to show you is suppose you want to go back again so you have to click on this so you go back again to the main component here Suppose you want to check where 127 is, the emergency block here, I click here, so you have the block 127 and there is a speaker icon here, if I click icon, it will tell what it is, let's click it. Uh, this block is position number 127 and it is a two position three way solenoid wall. The function of this solenoid wall is to actuate the puncture wall on the fuel pump when a shutdown signal is given from the safety system. So again I go back, there is one more knob here, you can see the yellow color knob here. So when the signal is coming here, electrical signal, this will activate. Suppose this is not working, then you can use this knob to activate it. So if I click here, in case there is a malfunction of operating of the solenoid wall block 187 by electrical means, the solenoid wall can be operated manually by a small knob provided in the block, which you can see in the picture. So this is the manual operation you can do it. So I am trying to explain in case of emergency stop of the main engine, so how to uh, do and where the signal is going. So this is very important. I, I again click here home. So I go back. So you can see different components here. Suppose you want to see 117. So you click here 117 here. So you can see the components are here 117 and uh, there's an icon here. You can click on this icon. This block is position number 117 which is a two position three way wall. The function of this wall is to activate starting air distributor when stop signal is given. Location main engine platform near the air distributor. So again I go back to the main manoring diagram here. So in part two of the video I will be explaining you more and more of this. For beginners it is little bit difficult 
but uh, for engineers who are going for exams and all this will be very helpful and if you like the uh, video please subscribe and if you have any message please let me know have a nice day thank you